I just want to say I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk about writing. Uh, it's uh, something I get to do all too rarely. Most of the time in front of an audience, uh, I'm asked, you know, what's the grossest thing you ever ate? And that's about uh, the extent of it. Um, yeah, I write. Uh, I started writing at age uh, 44 after uh, 28 years uh, spent standing in a kitchen. My boyfriend and I watch him a lot while we're eating to kind of, I don't know, taunt us with what's not in front of us. Um, so it's very strange, kind of, because he's exactly like he is on television, but having the glass kind of removed and put aside, it's very bizarre, but he's just as dynamic and funny and entertaining in person. Who would want to read about the squalid life of a not particularly good cook? This, uh, this, this subculture of chefs and cooks and dishwashers. I always like to hear about writers who start late in life because especially when you're just starting out and you feel like you have this sort of deadline, it sort of pushes that deadline way back. It gives you a sense of, all right, yeah, I, got, I got time. I have time to get this under my belt. I never read what I've just written if I can avoid it. Uh, if I'm writing a long, something long. Honestly, I'm really, uh, I, I, fl I, I was fl right flattered to be invited, uh, to be taken seriously enough uh, at anything, to be invited to university and to talk to, to writing students who, who I somehow, my instinct is, are probably a lot more serious about writing than I am. Um, so it's really added to my sense of self-importance. It just feels good. You know, I'm walking out of here feeling like, damn, I'm a writer.